July 23rd Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapters 81 and 82 from the Old Testament Shout for joy to God, our source of strength. Shout out to the God of Jacob. Sing a song and play the tambourine, the pleasant-sounding harp, and the ten-stringed instrument. Sound the ram's horn on the day of the new moon, and on the day of the full moon when our festival begins. For observing the festival is a requirement for Israel. It is an ordinance given by the God of Jacob. He decreed it as a regulation in Joseph. When he attacked the land of Egypt, I heard a voice I did not recognize. It said, I removed the burden from his shoulder. His hands were released from holding the basket. In your distress you called out and I rescued you. I answered you from a dark thundercloud. I tested you at the waters at Meribah. Selah. I said, listen, my people, I will warn you. O Israel, if only you would obey me. There must be no other God among you. You must not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord, your God, the one who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people did not obey me. Israel did not submit to me. I gave them over to their stubborn desires. They did what seemed right to them. If only my people would obey me, if only Israel would keep my commands, then I would quickly subdue their enemies and attack their adversaries. May those who hate the Lord cower in fear before him. May they be permanently humiliated. I would feed Israel the best wheat and would satisfy your appetite with honey from the rocky cliffs. God stands in the assembly of El, in the midst of the gods he renders judgment. He says, How long will you make unjust legal decisions and show favoritism to the wicked? Selah. Defend the cause of the poor and the fatherless. Vindicate the oppressed and suffering. Rescue the poor and needy. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They neither know nor understand. They stumble around in the dark while all the foundations of the earth crumble. I thought you are gods. All of you are sons of the Most High. Yet you will die like mortals. You will fall like all the other rulers. Rise up, O God, and execute judgment on the earth, for you own all the nations. God, in the, in the first psalm, talking about what you would do if only Israel would listen to you, if only they would obey, if only they would submit to you. And I think about this a lot in my own life. I sin. I am a sinner. And it is only by your grace and forgiveness that I'm able to make it through another day. But I think of all the things that I have missed and am missing and will miss in the future because I'm not being obedient to you. What plans do you have in place for me, in store for me, that I'll never get to see, that I'll never have an opportunity to experience? And probably more importantly, what people are out there that I won't be there to help because I'm choosing my own selfish needs over what they need. It really concerns me when you're talking about, especially in, in the psalm, that if only they would do this, I would do this for them. Um, you are a consistent God. You are a faithful God. You are a God of grace and mercy. And for some reason, you think that we somehow deserve those things. And I, I clearly know that we don't deserve them at all. Yet you love us so much with a love we can't even understand that as we do submit to you, as we are obedient to you, as we live the life that you expect of us as your children, then more and more blessings come to fill our lives. And I, I've seen this to be true in my own life. Um, those times where I seem to get things together and, and realize I can't do it on my own and, and it's all about you and only with your strength can I do these things. Am I able to be more successful at, at defeating sin in my life? Only with your strength, God. And it seems when I'm in that place, like the blessings just pour in to the point I can't even keep up with them. And then for some reason, I choose to go back to my sinful ways and my sinful past, and we start the cycle all over again. 
God, I just pray today that we will seek you with our hearts, with our whole hearts. That we will be obedient to you. That we will humble ourselves before you. That we will do as you are requesting of us. Not because we're going to, to get something, a reward, um, perhaps not a consequence. But instead, just to be obedient because of how much you love us, because you created us, and because you show us grace and mercy so much. God, just please be with us and help us to make those right choices today. You promised to always give us a way out of temptation. Help us today to always find those doors and those pathways and those other opportunities. Help us to actually seek those with our whole heart, those ways out of those things that we shouldn't be doing. God, I just love you so much. And it doesn't even pale in comparison to how you treat us and how well you take care of us. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.